Hi, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, a consultant ENT surgeon at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Ashwantpur. Hearing tests are of various types. We classify them as subjective and objective. Now, subjective tests are those tests which will be dependent on the user, that is uh, the person who is undergoing the test, his or her response will determine the end result. And objective tests don't depend on the subject, that is irrespective of whether the subject gives a response to the stimulus the examiner gives, we will still be able to tell whether the patient is hearing or not hearing. So the commonly performed subjective tests are what is called as free field audiometry for children who cannot give us proper responses in an age group which is less than two years of age and do what is called as a free field audiometry. In this what we do is we give a sound from either the left side or the right side and then we see whether the child is responding to those no sounds by turning the head or not. That's a rough estimate. Uh, it's not uh, easy to tell what is the exact amount of hearing uh, but it's a screening uh, tool like uh, device. Uh, then there is something called as pure tone audiometry which is a purely subjective uh, test uh, which would require uh, some amount of um, cooperation from the patient or the subject who is undergoing the test. They will have to be intelligent enough to understand what the examiner wants them to respond. That way they will be able to assess hearing by uh, stimulus of uh, various decibels and various frequencies uh, and then chart it out on a graph. This is the most commonly performed uh, um, audiometry uh, test. It's called pure tone audiometry. Now other than this, the middle ear function and uh, the acoustic pathway reflux can be tested by another test called as tympanometry and acoustic reflux. This uh, gives us um, information in the middle ear as well as the movement of the eardrum as well as uh, whether the entire um, acoustic reflux pathway is intact or uh, has it been interfered with. Now other than this, there are some other tests which are uh, like brainstem evoked response audiometry which is an objective test. Now in this test what we do is we uh, connect patient to a computer and then we give a stimulus to the ear uh, in the form of a noise and then we trace a pathway of the entire uh, auditory path uh, on the computer. So it's something like an EEG electroencephalogram which will chart out uh, the activity in the brain. Here the activity is charted out in the auditory pathway. So this uh, is what is uh, commonly done uh, uh, where we will not be able to assess hearing uh, in uh, people who are not able to uh, respond well or who are young and who uh, cannot respond to what we need. Uh, this is called BERA. Uh, there are other tests called ASSR and uh, other tests uh, which are also objective. Um, as a screening objective uh, hearing, we use what is called as OAE or Otoacoustic Emissions.